this is my morning. I am putting in an extension cord and plugging it into my blow dryer because our back door is frozen shut. It's the lock that's frozen. Excuse me. And I need to take my dogs out. So here we go. Hoping this works. And we have success. Copy. Well, that is frustrating, but it is good to know. Let's take care of that. I'm going to throw in some laundry. Um, it is about 8 o'clock in the morning. I sound awful because, well, <clears throat> I sound awful because I was up quite late last night till about 2 in the morning and um, was enjoying myself. But my kiddos don't know the meaning of the word sleep in or the two words sleep in. So they were up before 7 and they actually just played and um, They actually just played and were really good, um, but it was about 8 o'clock and it was time to get up and get the dogs out and get the kitties breakfast. So that's kind of the point we're at right now. Um, happy Sunday morning, guys. Hopefully you guys are having a good morning. Um, I'm excited for today. We're going to do some cookies. I'm not showing you my face because I look like death. My dark circles are crazy. Um, yeah, I'm excited for today. It's going to be a good day. Um, I wear this because it look, it's almost Christmas. And um, I, um, red, red, white, white, red. And it's the color of candy canes. And it's almost Christmas. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't know how many more days. Yes. Six more days till Christmas. Yeah. So exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got my coffee. I've got a little Rod Stewart Christmas on the laptop playing. I am going through this Gooseberry Patch Old Fashioned Country Christmas uh, book. It's got, the beginning of the book has some really just lovely, warm ideas for celebrating Christmas. Everything from like gift ideas to de decor ideas. Um, and some people like just share their memories. It's just, it's so quaint and sweet and I love it. I remember my first Christmas that I was married, uh, just laying on my couch and reading through this mag or this um, this cookbook. Um, it's prior to Pinterest, and blogging was just becoming a thing. Um, and it was, I don't know, just gave me so many wonderful ideas. So I always like to try and read through, through some of it. Um, each Christmas. So I'm going through and uh, just looking at some recipes, seeing if there's anything that stands out to me because today I want to nail down my Christmas menu for sure. And then over here I have got uh, these little, um, what are they called? Sticky pads, sticky note pads uh, that my mom gave me for Christmas. And I'm just writing down just some ideas for the uh, day before Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve Eve, Christmas Eve, and then just some things I want to remember uh, to ask some people. And so I'm just sticking on this page. On the other side of this, so I can open it. Um, I just have all of my thoughts on how I want to feel on uh, December 26th, and just especially in the time leading up to Christmas wanting to focus on being peaceful and joyful and um, just enjoying this season. Already this morning we've had a few um, attitudes and we've had some frustration um, and so it's again just always just trying to point my heart and renewing my mind right back to where it should be and it just really helped to have um, 
all these thoughts kind of written out and uh, a place to focus focus myself when things get a little crazy because let's just face it they get crazy during the holidays so that's what I'm doing this morning Aubrey's playing in her room and Cole is just watching something on YouTube so we're just kind of all having a little bit of a moment to ourselves and then I will probably get the dogs out pretty soon here um, I think all of us are dreading going outside so um, I'm just letting them stay in their bed snuggly and warm for a little bit longer before we all bundle up and head out into the great wide snowy world What are you doing? You're so cute. It's almost my birthday. I know, you are so excited. So my soup is ready from last night. Actually, it's not the soup, it's just the broth. Um, I placed this big, heavy stoneware bowl on top of the lid because my crock pot's pretty small. I didn't quite realize. I thought it was larger than my stock pot. I don't think it is. Um, and so anyways, the lid was lifting up a bit. So I just put this on top to hold the lid down. Um, I knew that once the vegetables and the bones started to con um, get smaller, like the lid would stay on. But of course I was doing this overnight. And it's a really nice scent to wake up to. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of the bones and the vegetables out and then I'm going to um, stick the broth into the fridge for a little bit to um, let the fat congeal. Then I'll scrape that off and then later on this afternoon I will put the broth into my stock pot with a little bit more water and some seasonings and actually make the soup. So there it all is. Oh my goodness. It is this beautiful dark color. Oh my gosh, it's so full of nutrients. I love to actually keep um, homemade broth in the freezer for times when we're sick. Um, just drinking a hot cup or a bowl of broth is so, so soothing. And there are so many good health benefits in just drinking um, broth. So I do have a video on my channel all about how I make homemade broth. Um, so if you want to check that out, I will try and link that. Um, yeah, it's super simple. Don't ever, ever, ever throw away a carcass of a chicken or um, a turkey uh, because you can get such good broth from it. Ready? 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 Woo! <laughs> so this is my Christmas bedroom. It's my bedroom every day, but a little kind of decorated for Christmas. You probably saw it uh, on my tour. <laughs> my husband has his pants hanging on this ladder. Very real life moment. <laughs> um, and I like to plug in the twinkle lights during the day. So for our bedding, we kind of use this all year long. Um, this is what my bed looks like, minus the candy cane. Um, this blanket underneath... Uh, is one that my mom made long long time ago and she gave it to my husband when we were just dating um, and it's a really large comfy cozy flannel quilt and I think this is the log cabin pattern um, so we like to sleep under this during the winter it is just so cozy and it's huge and it's just lovely there's nothing like a bed being made with um, with quilts and of course my mom made this one Hi. and then just here on my piece of furniture that I um, did here on my channel, I refinished it on my channel, um, I just have this other quilt and we always sleep with this one as well. Um, I, I don't know why I just didn't lay it here today, but there it is. Um, and then my mom, uh, when we were first married, she made us these pillowcases and these are Santa Clauses. And so I like to put them on the pillows kind of the week or so before Christmas and I will actually wash these um, 
before Christmas, so probably I'm thinking a couple days before, I'll go ahead and I'll throw these in the washing machine with the new Christmas pajamas. They're all nice and clean and fresh and ready to go. Um, and the kids have Christmas pillowcases too that my mom made them this year. And then so over on my dresser, I did take my garland down last night because it was not um, lighting the whole way. So I took it down, um, but everything else is kind of the same. I still have my little um, cloches with the houses. I'm sorry for my kids. They are having so much fun. And these little ornaments are things that the kids made. So every year they, um, their auntie gets them. Yes, I see you. Whoa, 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 don't run into me, please. <laughs> so every year, um, their auntie gets them these little balsa wood ornaments, and so the kids color them, and then you put the date on them, and so I have some from when Aubrey was, I don't know, probably two, I'm guessing, um, and we hang them on the tree, and we are also making some for some of our um, friends and family this Christmas, so... Those are colts, and I just wanted to remember to have them out <laughs> so that I don't forget and tuck them away. So that is my Christmas bedroom.